Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial. Happy July 1st. In this video, I'll just be doing a video on my one of my most requested videos on how to make my website. And I usually um, get a whole bunch of these requests and I just reply saying I use you cause, but they still ask me how to set up the site. And um, I'll, I'll be doing that, but in the comments I want you guys to like if you do have any questions on the site feel free to leave anything in the comments because I will be making more and more videos on you cause just because there's so many options and settings that you guys can mess around with the site and um yeah so I'll be trying my best to help you guys out with um those stuff that you guys post in the comments and by the way if you guys want you can also post the request at my website right here on this page and um, so let's get started with this I'm actually going to be using Safari since I'm not logged in on that so just go to ucoz.com ucoz.com okay and just click registration right here and um, it's very basic very basic registration people ask me if you can make multiple websites with just one account the answer is yes you can I'm not sure if they have a limit but you can make multiple websites and um, once you've done just confirm your email go ahead right here and just enter your email and password and you're logged in so I'll just log into my account let's go to UCAS here Okay guys, once I finish logging in, it looks a bit like this. It's like you have your own web top. And this is basically the UCAUSE interface. And um, what we want to do is we double click right here on create a website. Let's move this to the side. And we start creating our website address. Um, now you guys can choose your domain name. Like if you want um, your site dot ucause dot com or dot ucause dot net dot ucause dot org, any of those they have a bunch right here. I usually use com net or org because they're just the common ones. And um, if you guys want to have like your own dot com dot net dot org without the dot ucause, you guys have to go and buy your own domain, so it's not free. So yeah. So I'll just be doing dot org, and I'll just put FWT test, and I'll click continue, and it says it has been successfully created, and right here, if I double click on my websites, you guys can see I've got the FWT test right here, and right here you guys can choose your own icon, so. I don't care about that but and CP is for control panel so if you want to set up your website click on that let's slow this up and it asks for the site name I'll just put testing site site design you guys can always go back and change these so let's go with Mm, let's choose a nice design. Hopefully, we can find it. Okay, I just choose this right here. And you choose your language. Click continue. And these are the modules which you can also go back and change later on. I re highly recommend you guys choosing page editor. And if you guys like want forums, guest books and all that stuff just check on them I want a web post and guest book or I'll do form click continue so wait for this to load and it redirect redirects you to the control panel and right here right here you start off with 300 megabytes as your disk space but it kind of like um, increases every second so 
if you have your site for a while your disk space will move up and if you have like a lot of traffic in your website as in a lot of people comes and visit your website this will also increase alright guys so that's pretty much this video for setting up your account and website um, so I don't have a lot to say right now on all these stuff I will probably explain later on in the next video or so about the control panel and probably if you guys have a new request with the modules I'll also help you guys out so pretty much this is what we've got for our site this is our site which looks kind of weird but that's because we chose the weird design alright so guys so pretty much that's what all I've got for you guys today um, so if you guys want to create your own site go to UCAS I recommend this this um, website um, host this web host site so yeah that's it if you guys have any requests for on UCAS if you guys have like questions regarding control panel related and modules stuff just post them in the comments I will try my best to make a tutorial if I can't explain it through text um so alright Thanks for watching this video.